What's up, guys? Y'all enjoying Aviators and Assuming Hat bringing you another episode of Combat for Dummies. This time, bringing the episode two of the Avatar Month, going with water bending in this episode. So sit back, relax, and let's go over a water bending technique. Alright guys, so this time we're going over a waterbending technique and we are going to go over a special throw. So waterbenders use their opponent's energy against them. They, it's not a super powerful, you know, up front attack like fire bending or super powerful blocks like earth bending. Uh, it's going to be kind of using their energy, their momentum, their power against them. So what we're going to be working from is as if someone came in to punch at your face, just running in, swinging going at your face so what we're gonna do is a throw so the first thing you're going to do is a with your right hand you're going to block with the ins an inside outside box basically with your hand open so you want to use that side of your arm just to get that good block in now as you block you're going to want to step inward now I'm going to do it facing this way so you can see a little bit better because the step is a large part of what this technique does my dog's in the background if you can see it so you're going to block as you go up and you're going to step in nice and deep. So one more time, blocking and stepping in nice and deep. You want to step between your opponent's legs. So what we're going to do is you're going to block, step in, and you're going to shoot your hand as far as you can between your opponent's legs. Now, once you get here, you're going to grab their punching hand. You're going to shift your weight from one side to the other as you adjust their body over, you know, your back. That gets that throw over the arc. So, just like this, you're going to block and step in just like this. You're going to shift your weight just like that, nice and slow. I'm see if I can get a part before you get all right guys, so I have my brother with me right now and my dog. Go sit down. Go sit down. Anyway, so he is going to be my partner to help show you uh, a little bit more about how to use this technique the right way. So what he's gonna do, to pick that, get that stance going. When, when he punches at me, going slow motion for right now, getting that block in and at the same time, stepping in deep, taking that hand, shooting it under, in between the legs, getting them across that shoulder, and as you rotate, you're gonna rotate, just like that. It's basically a head drop, you drop them on their head. With my dog running around like she's crazy. I don't know why. So anyway, now that my dog's done being crazy, at least super crazy, you want to step in, Stick out and rock with your shoulders, let them drop on their head just like that. All together, it's one, two. Why is she running? Like, I don't get it. Anyway, one, two. Just like that. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. It didn't quite go as I expected because, you know, my dog decided to act crazy. But it's all right because... Whew. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit from it. Hopefully you can practice. Hopefully I'll be I'll have a partner I can throw later on so I can do more of these types of videos, these types of intense uh, techniques and stuff for you guys. With all that said, hit that like if you like the video. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit that subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out. <laughs>